All right, folks, another Meet the Member, and this time we have... Mr. David Baxter. Thank you very much, Mr. Baxter. Are you a local? I'm very local, down in Bourne End, seven minutes from door to here. Down Blind Lane. Up and down Blind Lane like a rat up a drain pipe. Absolutely. That, that's in next door digest all the time. Apparently there are trucks and stuff going up and yeah. down there. Who knew? What do you do or did you do for a living if you're retired, Dave? I'm still working, working from home. Uh, I'm an IT consultant looking at SAP. And you're one of the Martin Baker boys. One of the Martin Baker boys. Um, Friday afternoons, here we go. Exactly. For those who don't know, Martin Baker do the ejection seats, which is practically most aircraft in the world. Uh, most of the fighter aircraft. Okay. Um, yeah, a large percentage, so, ignoring the Russians and the Chinese. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Obviously. The wind don't allow them to eject. Um, I'm joking. Uh, they got their <laughs> own ejection Chinese seats. viewers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so... Martin Baker is, is a large employer in the local area in Denham, aren't they? So yep. that's quite nice for us. What's your playing handicap there? 18.5 uh, on, on the WHS, it's and so that's 20 thing. around here, roughly. Okay, well, that's yeah. not bad. Did it go up or down with the index? went up, and it's still going up. Yeah, mine do. <laughs> All my good rounds were two years ago. Okay. And so it's just gone. Yeah. yeah, I went from 16 to 20. Yeah. So Well, the same as you, 18.7. Yeah. But. How long have you been a member of Flackwell Heath Golf Club? Oh, about 12 years. As soon as they removed the joining fee, you I jumped ran in. along and said, I'll have some of that. Excellent. And uh, yeah, enjoyed it ever since. Excellent. Family? Family, married, two kids, uh, three young grandchildren, six, four and two. Yeah. House is a tip as soon as they turn up. It's, it's normal grandparent normal duties. Normal grandparent duties, yes. Yeah, that's very good. And it feels weird because I know Dave quite well, so I know most of these answers. So it feels <laughs> weird asking him again. It's like, why do you keep asking me stupid questions, Brian? You already <laughs> you know. know all that. <laughs> you know all that. <laughs> <laughs> what football club or rugby do you support? Uh, a Chelsea supporter from a very young age. I went oh. and had um, a, a, a dinner with my friend Colin Eldridge at the age of seven. Oh, yeah. His dad was sat there in the back, taxi driver, okay. and as soon as I walked in, he said, who do you support? And I knew that Colin was a Chelsea supporter. So he went for that? Chelsea. Said, <laughs> You're all right then, son. Oh, <laughs> and that was it. And, so, and it's been that way ever since. So where did you grow up then? Um, so, born in Wilsdon, okay. moved to Neasden, okay. moved to Hayes. And then yeah. moved to Maidenhead, moved to Bourne End. So I all the way west. Briefly lived in Neasden when I arrived in the UK many, many years ago. And let's just yeah. say it's not the most salubrious area. No. I don't know if it's changed. I haven't been there for 20 odd years. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, that's my memories of it. Yeah. What do you love about Flackwell? Why Flackwell, other than you said the joining fee went away? Um, because it's local, because okay. it's easy to get to. Um, it's a challenging course for me. Mm -hmm. um, and really, I don't need to look anywhere else. It's part of my lifestyle now. And yeah. so I've organized my working life around it. I've organized my social <laughs> life around it. <laughs> I love the dedication. Yeah. <laughs> Work is second. <laughs> oh, yes. So what was the one thing? If you could change one thing, whether it would be the club, whether it would be Simon finally putting the sides up on the studio, yeah. what, what's the one thing you would change about Flagwell or the course? Or? Um, I think I'd change where the clubhouse is. Okay. <laughs> if, I, if I could, yeah, yeah. if I could, I would move it somewhere else. I don't think this is the best place for it. I'd put it over the back of the 15th and reorganize it all. It makes sense and there is space out there and yeah. we wouldn't be so much on top of the yeah, neighborhood. So when I win the lottery... I You're the man. I'll be, I'll be investing. Excellent. <laughs> Dave, give us one interesting fact about yourself. Um, I enjoy a lot of fishing as well. No way. Yeah. There's one thing I didn't know. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Um, Cop fishing or? Anything, really. Okay. Anything to, so, float fishing on the Thames. Um, I've just recently had a go at fly fishing with my brother. He took me to a okay. lake, caught a couple of trout. and um, Local yeah. or? Uh, yeah, not too far away. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. realise there was trout fishing around here. Yeah, there's a few lakes around here that do trout fishing. Down towards uh, Maidenhead and then out towards... Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, 
down lot, that way. Lots of lakes and yeah. reservoirs exactly. and bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. Dave, as always, we're finished with a quick fire five, which mm -hmm. I've turned into a slow fire five as I ask too many questions. So what's your what do you think is the best hole from a golfer's perspective and what is your favorite hole? So two Okay. So the best hole from a golfer's perspective is fifteen, I think. Yeah. And my favourite hole Probably five. I really like five. You like five? It's yeah. a murderous hole day. I know, but when you get it right, you feel so good. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it's not like sailing towards the solar panels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Brian, not that me. Is, that is me. <laughs> nice flat hook. I've seen that one as well. Yeah, you have. I, you have got that in your locker. I have got that in my locker. <laughs> that guy loves me. Uh, worst hole and the not the best designed hole, or the weakest hole? Um... Four, four for both of them. Four for both of them. Yeah. You don't like the risk and reward aspect. That slope, no matter where, even if you, even if you leave it down the bottom, yeah. it's, it's a, you can't really see what you're doing. Yeah. You can't half the time you can't see where the pin is. So if you put it halfway up the slope, it's really difficult to to yeah. judge that pitch. And I guess to make it risk and reward for most of us, they would have to move the tee forward another 50, 60 yards. Yeah, exactly, because you. The majority of the people that can't reach can't it. Reach it. Yeah. Yeah. So Even actually, on my best day, it's... That would be interesting if they dropped the T just down for a risk and reward kind of every now and again. Yeah. Mm, I like that idea. Lager, ale, wine or water or all of the above? Ale. Ale, I knew that. Play early, play <laughs> late. <laughs> you still count the cost in your account, aren't you? I do. <laughs> I do. Play early, play late. Um, both. Yeah. All the time. You play. Yeah. You play and you... You're one of the, what I would say, better members. I'm one of the not-so-nice members. I'm trying to change it this year is you actually play in a lot of different roll-ups with a lot of different yeah, people. Yeah, I'm very unfussy. Yes, which is very good. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a good attribute to have. I'm lazy. I go, oh, yeah, I know them. Yeah. yeah. But I need to, I'm going to change that this year because of, I'm not allowed to use my title with YouTube and then the second word starts with a B. <laughs> uh, best course you've ever played? Um... Probably Saint Pierre, I, and I played. Yeah, it's good. I played it really well, and I had a fantastic day. Did there. you play it in the summer? In the summer, that's gorgeous, and isn't it? It's lovely. It was just yeah. beautiful. The one thing I'd say about Saint Pierre is they, they say <laughs> say the trees are ninety percent air. Not in no, the summer no. at Saint Pierre with those oak trees. Yeah, it is literally a hundred percent tree. Yeah, it's all tree, and you're not going anywhere else. <laughs> Absolutely, Dave. Thank you very much. Thanks for taking thank the you. time. Thanks for coming into the studio because yeah. it's finally raining, which is good for the course. So yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Good stuff. Thank you.